What's up guys, Liz Neil here and in today's video, I want to talk about fake apps. Fake apps practically affect every Android user and the situation is just getting worse every single day. But before we talk about this any further, let's start from the beginning. And let's start from when I faced this myself and the reason why I'm making this video in the first place. Now, one of the best launches in my opinion is the EV launcher. It's slick, fast, modern and has a good sprinkle of features which makes it one of my favorite launches till date. Some of the notable features like hiding apps, support for icon packs, gestures, swipe to search and much much more. And overall, just a polished launcher and it's just a pleasure to use. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing, it's completely free. Personally, to be honest with you, I would pay for this launcher any single day. But one fine day, as I change my phones regularly, I usually just hop into the Play Store and start installing on my apps, including the launcher itself. And as I did it so many times, I personally don't bother looking at the description itself and just look at the icon and tap on the install button, just like any other person to be honest with you. But once I installed it, something was off, way off. The launcher did not feel like anything like the launcher I knew. It was riddled with ads and basically lacked all the features I loved about it. So I went back to see and to my surprise it was a fake app impersonating the real one. And the real one was nowhere to be found. So the first thing what I did was I uninstalled it because it was a piece of garbage and then I checked the reviews and in general the reviews were ranging from some people clueless like me thinking that the original developer did this and some were complaining about the amount of ads and so on. So I sat down and did some research myself. I figured out that the original app was not updated at all so the Play Store just removed it. And as the original developer had lost interest in it, no action was taken and it was practically abandoned. Later on, I found out that at least as per up to down was concerned, I found out that the app was last updated on June 20th, 2019. That means it makes it approximately over five years from the time it has been last updated. So for context, that's basically when Android 10 was released. Now currently we have Android 14. Surprisingly, even when the app is not being updated for so many years, it still works great and is still my primary launcher till date. And I'm not the only one. If you go to their subreddit, many users still date use the same just like me. And it's a testament on how good the launcher is. Anyway, currently the only way to get a copy of it is to third party websites such as up to down, apk mirror or from the subreddit itself which is still not too bad. But I wish that the dev itself had open sourced the code before it was abandoned so that at least the community could at least maintain it. Anyway, sorry for all the rambling about the launch itself but to be honest with you, I genuinely love this and I wanted to shed some light about this situation. Also, anyone from Google, if you're watching this, I'll be linking the app in the description down below and please do it in full and seriously remove it. So back to the main topic, fake apps are practically everywhere. They can be of different flavors ranging from apps which work perfectly but they contain malware inside of it or apps which are trying to impersonate legit apps just like the launcher which I mentioned before or basically pro apps which are cracked or modded. This makes it really risky to download any apps without at least having to do a simple audit as nowadays everything from your bank details, payments and identity is stored on your phone which makes it an ideal target for malicious developers to add spyware or keylog to get the confidential data from your phone. And my advice for anyone asking regarding was to always download from the Play Store. But this advice may not hold true these days, as it's not just this launcher, but many others have started popping up on the Play Store these days. The situation is so bad that there's literally a subreddit called r slash bad apps dedicated to the cause of finding and reporting the same, which shows how bad the situation really is. So what can you do about it? First of all, whenever you're installing any app, including the Play Store, see that you stopped yourself and just take a second and check the ratings, comments and the number of downloads. This is always to an extent a surefire way of finding out if it's a fake app or a legit one. As the fake app will have horrible reviews, ratings and considerably low number of downloads. 
compared to its legit counterpart. If any of this is true, go ahead and report the app itself so that the store can take action on the same and remove it. Or you can go to the subreddit which I mentioned before and post it there so that y'all can join and report it as a group which is more effective. Kudos to a subreddit by the way, y'all are seriously doing God's work. If any of the Google team is watching this video, please get your shit together and moderate this properly. Make your review process a little more strict and thorough so that these kind of scammy apps do not show up on the Play Store. As if we can't trust the apps on the Play Store, what can we trust then? Sometimes Apple with their close ecosystem does a better job even when I genuinely don't like the stance on their wall garden approach even a single bit. Now I can't blame Google fully here as scammers have found ways to bypass the moderation itself. Basically what they do in a nutshell is they publish a legit app, it might be a simple app like a calculator, but after some weeks or months, the scammer basically just changes the information itself and uploads the malicious app on the Play Store itself, disguising as the real one. This has been going on the Play Store for so many years, but Google needs to find a way to stop this or at least take some notes from Apple. Anyway, I hope that this video sheds a light on this issue. I know that I'm a small channel, but even if it reaches even 5 people, I think it is a mission success. So please help me spread the awareness and keep yourself safe too. So this wraps it up guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.